Hello, and uh, thank you for choosing Mr. Bob and John for your fast food reviews. Now today we have we have an awkward uh, piece here from Burger King. You may have heard Burger King. Uh, Burger King just came out with their Impossible Burger, but you may not have known. I know I didn't know that they actually had a veggie burger before this. And I caught them at the tail end. They said they're getting rid of their veggie burger because they have the Impossible Burger to replace it now. So um, I figured, what the heck? Let's get one of these guys. Right off the bat, look at the color, folks. I'm not so sure about that color there. It's definitely very obvious that it's not meat product. And we do have a sesame seed bun, just like we do on the Whopper. Looks like we got a lot of vegetables. Let's do a little bit of a tear down here. Huh? So I would say we got the lettuce on top. So we got to go down onions, pickles, a little bit lighter on the sauce than we saw on the Whopper. But, well, all in all, looks like it's comparable. Again, no cheese. I'm gonna go ahead and get started while John takes you through a little bit more. Alrighty, so this burger is, I'm notating that it's a bit smaller than the Whopper. I mean, we uh, also reviewed the Whopper here, the regular traditional Whopper that Burger King is famous and known for. Uh, they're the home of the Whopper after all. And I'm noticing that the bun and everything is actually smaller than the Whopper. It's not as hearty of a burger, but it does have the same, uh, the same composition here. Uh, I don't have, I don't know how many ounces this beef patty is, if it's a quarter pound like the official Whopper is, but it definitely has a sesame seed bun. You see that there's mayo, there's some lettuce on here. Uh, it definitely has a tomato, it's practically fallen out. Uh, got some pickles, got a big beefy pickle right here, and ketchup and onion. So you can see there's a good amount here. I am noticing that this, this slice of vegetable Veggie patty is what they call it. They call it the veggie burger. It's definitely looking like if it was ground beef, it's a little chunky there. It looks like it's pretty dry and separates pretty easily. And it's uh, it's thicker than the beef burger, than the beef patty is. But I've actually found that to be a thing to just anything that's not beef, it's beef substitute. They tend to make it thicker. I don't know why, but there it is. Also looks like there's, all, there's really nothing underneath this patty in the bun. Oh, heck, you can almost see it. I, I don't want to say it looks like there's some uh, shredded carrots in there. So, uh, Mr. Bob over here looks like he's finished his piece, so I'm going to let him talk about how he feels about this burger, what it tastes like to him, while I go ahead and try a sample. All right, folks. So, again, so we'll start with our breakdown here. A typical bun, typical lettuce, you know, okay. We really want to focus on the meat right here, or the patty, as it is. It's definitely much thicker, and as I said, look over here, you can see all kinds of different kinds of vegetables for sure. You've got the green and the brown and the carrots in there for sure. I don't know. It, it got a very, very thick, difficult to bite through texture. It's very, very tough. Um, it does not feel like a hamburger on the mouth feel for sure. It, you, and it's very, very dry, even with the sauce, because you can't get the sauce in there. There's no, you know, no grease factor essentially in that regard. So I'm going to have to go ahead and give it a thumbs down for sure. Um, it was an option, and I mean, if that's your thing, that's absolutely your thing. Uh, but they also like didn't probably put anything on the bottom of the bun here. I don't particularly care for that. Otherwise, I mean, it, it is an option, and it's about the same size. I would say a little bit smaller, but a little bit thicker, so I would say it's comparable to the Whopper in that regard. But overall construction, and you're just going to get a thumbs down from Mr. Bob. Looks like John over there is finishing up. What's your thoughts, John? I have to say that patty really ruined it for me. Um, I had the original Whopper and it tasted great. Great balance between beef, all the internal things. I could taste the tomato, taste the pickles. I could taste the onion, although it's not a very strong flavor. Then we tell us the lettuce there. Here, the patty kind of took the cake. May, not because it was so flavorful. It, it tasted actually very unflavorful. It's kind of like when you get, get vegetables, you know, cooked steamed vegetables and pack them together and try to make tater tots out of them. And it's really dry, really kind of thick, definitely really on the dry side, folks. I mean, I don't really think there's much that can salvage this. It's just so dry. It's hard to chew through. I mean, this is a thing that people would use boot leather uh, to describe, although, granted, it's clearly not the consistency of boot leather. Boots can hold up to stuff. But yeah, I, I'm definitely happy that this wasn't a thing. They're removing it from the menu. It is thicker, but that might also be bad. Maybe they should have made half a thick patty, maybe just put two of them in there or something. Get a little bit of sauce and moisture in there. But yeah, I'm definitely giving this... Uh, I, I'm giving this a thumbs down, a thumbs down and a half. I was like, this is a... I would avoid this. If somebody offered me one for free, I would say, 
no thank you. I'd rather go without food today. <laughs> what do you guys think? Have you guys tried the, have you guys even heard of this, uh, the vegetable burger at Burger King? I know I had it until I was talking to them this morning. I like to talk to my Burger King people and they said that they had this. I was like, wow, I didn't even know. Never seen it on the menu. So let's throw one in there too. Let's get one of these things and try it. Like, do you have a favorite burger? Um, I don't think even cheese could save this. Not even bacon, guys. Like, what do you think? Well, let us know in the comments down below. Click subscribe and leave that notification bell so you can see our own videos. This is Mr. Bob and John with another review. Over and out.